Thanks for the introduction, Patty. And it's a real pleasure to be right here and invited to speak. Thank you right, for the opportunity. Um, so I'll talk, and, and I'm the first speaker, so I guess I kind of have to get things started. And so the topic will be getting started where Suresh really started his career. And I'll give a few remarks about him as a teacher. And so for kind of full disclosure for those who don't know me, um, right, know him as a colleague before that as a graduate advisor, but I first met him actually as an undergraduate student sitting in his class at Purdue. So we'll go back, right, 15 years, and I'll kind of give my first impressions of, of what I thought of him then. Um, and so there's no doubt, right, when I was asked for remarks, I knew exactly the story I, I would tell, and every single student sitting in the classroom would say the same thing. So we've got 40 students who are in the room, right, sitting there. And it's the second week of class, so you're kind of comfortable because the first week you just review some things. First homework came in, pretty simple. Maybe you did well on it. So you're, you think you've got this sense of security. Um, but then everyone's like perking up, right, because this teacher starts pointing at people and calling them out by name and asking them questions. So when, when he calls on Sarah, you think, okay, you must know her from a student organization or something, right? Then he calls on Scott. And then right, Bruce, your friend Bruce is sitting next to you. He calls Bruce. You think... He doesn't, right, he doesn't know Bruce, what's going on here. And then he calls Justin. Right? And, and you're kind of wondering, okay, what's going on? So we're all getting to this realization that in the first week of class, he just had learned all of our names. How, right, I mean, just casual interactions before or after class, passing out the homework. Um, it was just there. And, and you might think this would be terrifying. Um, it was more effective than coffee in terms of keeping students alert. I'm sure of that. <laughs> But, but if you know, right, Suresh, he's got this mastery of asking a question. So no one ever had a sense that he was trying to right, pick, some, pick on someone or point something out, but right, asking in this kind of endearing, more comforting way and starting a conversation with them or helping them to some understanding or maybe just curious right, what they think and is kind of assessing himself. So it's hard to... Right, give a sense of the atmosphere in this room, but it's this one-on-one -on -one mentoring in a class of 40, which, which is kind of hard to explain. Um, and so mentoring is this topic that gets a lot of attention in higher education, right? And it's highlighted that you need good mentors in this case. Um, but I guess my story and what I can speak is that, right, just this very simple act of learning someone's name has a profound effect, right? And so it, it wasn't a memorization trick either, right? It was followed by like a deeper, right, longer, more empathetic relationship with many of those students in the classroom. Um, and I don't have to say it because I think everyone after me will say the same thing. It's this connecting with people is his magic, right? And, and that's what made him a great teacher. And it's going to be probably underscored in, in anyone who talks about it. And so I don't... I, I remember the course material. I must have learned it, right? It's what I'm doing today. <laughs> but much more vividly, I just, I remember, right, being called out by name. And, and now that I'm at Purdue, right, teaching myself, right, I, I have a better sense of, like, broader vision and, and what he thought about for teaching. So I, I had the opportunity to teach this course recently that he pioneered some 20 years ago at Purdue. Um, it's a really fun course, right? We invite industry professionals into the classroom, right? They're giving, right, practical case studies and other things directly to the students. It's broadcast to students, not just in the classroom, but equally as many, right, throughout the state, throughout the country who are working, continuing, right, professionals. And I'm kind of in awe because I've, I've now got these students who travel back to Purdue. They're there for a football game or are registering for classes and are coming and, and thanking me for doing this. I've got a department head thanking me for offering this modern course that, right, is hitting on all of our strategic objectives in the university and is aligned with, right, that land-grant mission of, right, extending education. And so I just have to, right, pass along my thanks, right, in that regard and, and marvel of kind of the vision he had for that many years ago without any of the infrastructure at the university to be able to do that. Um, so I guess, you know, maybe I'll, I'll just wrap up and say, I'm maybe jealous that he's still not teaching. You kind of want to have people have that experience that you got to have, but he's got all of these, right, past students who are many here today, and whatever they do, they're all great teachers, right? So that's, that's continuing. And, you know, as we go forward, maybe I'll just say, right, President Garamella was first Professor Garamella. I know every situation he encounters, he's going to approach it as a teacher, and so be ready when he calls on your name. <laughs>